Hey there, this is Kamal and in this video, we're gonna see how to host a dynamic website for free. So let's get this started. Before going further, let me clarify a few things for you. When it comes to websites, we have two types of websites. The first one is a static website and the second one is a dynamic website. So what is a static website? A website which is created using the front end part leaving the back end is known as a static website. So in a static website, we use HTML, CSS and JavaScript without any of the database integration. When it comes to a dynamic website, we use the database as well. So we use languages like PHP for scripting and MySQL for the database. And in this video, we're going to concentrate on the dynamic part. But if you want to see how to host a static website on GitHub for free forever, then check out the link in the description below. Moving on, let's now actually see how to do it. Open your favorite browser and type in infinity free. Open the first link. So this website provides us with free unlimited web hosting. There are paid versions as well, but the options that they have are different and we don't require that. The free version is more than enough for us. So sign up for an account here. Once you're done visiting, they're going to send a verification email to your Gmail account. So verify that. Once the verification is done, you'll be redirected to this page. And as you can see here, we have an option to create an account. And if you look at the bottom, you have the option for number of active accounts. And as you can see, the number is three. That means you can run three different domains simultaneously. So for now, let's click on create account. So this is the page where you have to actually select if you want to use a subdomain or you want to use a custom domain. So if you already have a custom domain name with you, you can use that by using the name servers that they have provided, or you can use a subdomain, which is actually free. So you're going to get your domain name dot apz.com or rf.gd. You can use any of these. Okay. For now, let's go to subdomain. So I'm going to name mine as packet code official. So then click on I'm not a robot. So now your account has been created. So click on view client area. Okay. So these are the details which are going to be very useful for you right now. As you can see, our account is being set up. So refresh the page after a few minutes. So it's going to take usually around one to two minutes. So after it's done, you can refresh the page and this message will disappear. On the right hand side, we have the FTP details. So if you want to establish an FTP connection to this website and transfer your files through that connection, then you can use these. You have the username, password and host name. Meanwhile, let's go to the control panel. You have to click on I approve. Once that is done, it's going to open the C panel for this website. So here you have the databases and PHP my admin. So for now, let's set up the database. Let's create a database here. Click on create database. All right. So now these are the details that you have to input in your database script. Okay. So let me open a dummy project to showcase how it's done. All right. So I have a project open here. So this is my project. And in that I have a database file. So here I'm going to provide the host name, the username, password and the database name. So here you have the username, right? Just copy this and paste it here. And the password for this is going to be your vPanel password. So this is the password that we have here. So just copy this and place that here. As for the database name, it's going to be this. So let's copy that and place that here. For the host name, it's going to be this. Copy that and place it here. So now let's upload these files to the server and you can do that using the FTP connection that I mentioned earlier, or you can do it manually. So let's do the manual method. Okay. So now let's refresh the page. So it's been verified. So now you have the option to click on file manager. So click on file manager, then go to HD docs. Let's remove these two files. These are dummy files. Now let's drag and drop all the files for the website that we had created. If you're having any trouble while uploading the files, you can manually do that from here and you can upload a file or a folder or a zip. Okay. So now that the files have been uploaded, we are done with the setup. And as you can see here, it's mentioned that it's going to take around 72 hours for a new domain name to start working everywhere. It does not happen every time, but sometimes it does take time. So just open your website in a new tab and check once in a while if it's uploaded or not. If not, then you have to wait for some more time. 
but at the end it will be done uploading and the website will be live okay and this is your domain name so that's it for this video guys if you have any queries please post them in the comment section down below if you've liked what you've watched till now then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well thanks so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video